What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Class A Tornado, the regular one. Now, I did customize the Benny's Custom variant a while ago, However, a lot of you guys wanted to see the regular one customized in this series as well. So, this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one and can be purchased from the Benny's website for 30000 or of course you can get it off the street for free. Now, the Tornado name was first introduced in GTA San Andreas, which has a bit of a different design compared to the one in GTA V. Also, there are a few different variants of the Tornado in GTA Online, Firstly, we have the regular hardtop variant, which is the one we're customizing in this video. Then we have the convertible variant, and of course the rusty beater variant as well, including the Mariachi Tornado, which I made a separate video customizing a while ago. Now, in terms of performance, the Tornado is in the Sports Classics class and is obviously one of the slowest in the game. It's made for cruising and it's bold styling, not performance of any kind, which it definitely does well for being a 1950s based car. But anyways, in terms of what the Tornado is based on, it's primarily based on a mix of a lot of different 1950s cars, but its main design is based on the 1958 Chevy Bel Air from the front and the 1957 Chevy Bel Air from the back. So a pretty interesting combination there, fantastic looking car. These cars from the late 50s were just beautiful cars, works of art with all the aviation inspired designs they incorporated into them with the big fins at the rear and all that, it just, just really good looking. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Tornado. Alright, Tornado, let's do it. Alright, so as I discussed earlier in the video, this is for the regular Tornado, I already customized the custom variant a while ago in a separate video, again, so focusing on the regular one for this video, so we're going to skip the Benny's upgrade. As usual, armor, brakes, bumpers. You have a custom front bumper one, looks like it, it's a lot lower in the front, that's a different grill, it removes the front plate, okay. Then you got this one, which is the same bumper, but it just changes the actual grill. Okay, I definitely like this grill a lot better, so we'll do that. Engine, exhaust. So, short exhaust. Kind of reminds me of like an old dragster or something, okay. And, eh. I wish they would have had a few exhaust options for the rear. I know the Benny's variant does, but this one doesn't. It's only side options. I don't know, I think this just looks a bit strange on this car. Uh, I guess I'm going to stick with the stock then, because I want it exiting out the rear. Fenders, you have the fender skirts, little covers there, and chrome, then you have chrome detail, and you have fender skirts and chrome detail. I don't know, I feel like this car looks better without the cover, personally. I, th I think the detail is kind of nice, the extra chrome there, so I guess we'll do that. Hood, you have the classic hood, ooh, I love that, classic hood, that's beautiful. And then you got the bug catchers. <laughs> nice, classy beauty to absolute ridiculousness. But on the bright side, I guess with that crazy exhaust option and the blower, I guess you can sort of make like a drag build out of this if you want to. Um, but I'm going to stick with the classic hood for this. Uh, lights. We'll leave no the stock rushing. lights. Uh, plate. Um, I don't really have a custom plate for this one. I'll just throw the Murica plate on there. Respray. So for this one, um, I went back and forth on the colors quite a bit. Um, <laughs> I went from yellow to orange to <laughs> anything, everything you could think of. But um, I, honestly, I think I'm just going to go with a light blue. I think it just suits this car so well. I even thought of a red as well, but we, we did that with the Christine build, even though it was the Benny's variant. But um, I think this light Don't blue with, uh, we, we could do an ice white pearlescent, which does look great, brightens it up ca uh, quite a bit there. But I think the gasoline green pearls are really going to throw this off. And look at that. Definitely adds a nice effect to it. I think it looks fantastic, so we're going to do that. Kremlin for this car goes in the doors. Okay. Transmission. Turbo. 
wheels. So for this one, we're going to go to the lowrider category. So I was going to do something in street or track, but um, there's no chrome options in those categories, and I definitely want a chrome wheel for this. Um, so we're going to go into the lowrider category, chrome, and I'm going to throw on here the lead sleds. I think these look really good on here, um, especially when we do the white walls. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Oh, it looks so good. White. The, this car just needs white walls. <laughs> it just it looks so good. Um, and then windows. If you want to do tints, you can. I don't know why limo is already purchased. Oh, that's weird. Um, I I guess I don't want it like a full fishbowl <laughs> look. So I guess I'll do the light smoke. Just so we have a little bit of tint there. Plus I do want to hide that interior. It's not not the best interior. Obviously the Benny's variant gives you a nice interior. This is just awful here. Um, but yeah, that's all the options. I mean, considering... Oh, wait, I missed an option in the Fender category, I think. Sorry about that. Um, so you have the Chrome, so you have the side ones, and then you have a secondary option in here, um, which is the Fender Ornaments. So sorry about that. I, I don't know how I missed that, but uh, Fender Ornaments. There we go. Um, yeah, it looks fantastic. It's kind of weird how they do that sometimes. They put, like, multiple options in the same category, but yeah. Fender Ornaments definitely looks nice. Love that. And that's all the options there. All right. Exit to ground. Take it for a little drive. Oh, it looks so nice. What the hell? To the sun here. Look at that pearl shining off of that. That is nice. Great color. Love the wheels. Super classy. This thing looks good. And it has a bit of, um, I think with that color, kind of gives it like a bit of a custom sort of look to it. Uh, love that. Interior, yeah, it's this <laughs> terrible copy paste muscle car interior that you know we're used to seeing. I'll give it some revs here, not too bad. All right, floor it nice and slow. That's floored, fully maxed out. Um, yeah, it's not a fast vehicle by any means. Like I talked about earlier, this is a cruiser, this is meant for styling, cruising, and that's pretty much it. Um, Top speed's decent, I guess, once you get up there, but uh, take a corner here. You know, I thought it was going to like spin out completely, but no, it was just a lot of understeer, so that's kind of surprising there. Let's take a corner here, get all that body roll, oh my god, ah! Acceleration is like non-existent. <laughs> corner, well, there's the back end coming out. Oh, understeer. Another corner here. It's not it's not terrible. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse. Oh, excuse me. It's just slow. It just needs more power. <laughs> but um yeah, I mean, it, it's still a cool vehicle. I've always liked the Tornado. Uh, I think the Benny's one is definitely the one you want to own. You know, it has all the extra customization. Um, and at 375000 I think it was, for that Benny's upgrade, that's 1,000% worth it. Oh, how did I hit that? <laughs> I thought I avoided it perfectly. I guess the back end came around a little bit and clipped it, but... Oh, man. All right, let's, um, let's pull over and open all the doors and stuff. I guess we'll... Oh, we'll pull into over here. To the Weasel Plaza area. Some sun here. Alright. Let's see this engine model on this thing when it's normal. I, I, it's probably going to be terrible, but let's see here. Okay, I mean, it's not the worst. Oh, look at that. It even has a little bit of a primary color in there. And some some logos, it looks like. What the heck is this? What? Oh, not a logo. I guess it's just like a design characteristic or something. Interesting. Well, the primary color on the sides is actually pretty cool. You know, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. That's, as I thought it was going to be, I should say. <laughs> that's not bad. That's not bad. Interior. Yeah, let's skip over that. <laughs> Trunk. Okay. Not terrible. Um, yeah, you know, this thing is, I mean, considering you can get off the street for free, this is something nice to kind of have sitting in your garage. Like I said, Benny's variant is better, but let's say you're a newer player, you don't have much money, you just want a nice classic car, you know, that, that will look good in your garage from a distance. Um, this is a great one for that. 
But uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Definitely let me know what vehicle from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next that I haven't done yet. Again, the list will be down below in the comments. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.